Take a look at this guy. He's it's an interesting looking fish, isn't it? See a lot of these around the state? Turns out, if all goes well with this uh, next big project that's happening on the shoreline, we could be seeing a lot more sturgeon soon. Now this is a picture of, well that was a picture <laughs> from Yukon. Connecting a project is being worked on to raise awareness of conservation efforts. This is not a sturgeon. This is Dr. Hannes Bellman. Can we say hello to you? <laughs> They, you can't see it, but they switched you on and the fish off right at the, the wrong moment as I was pointing to you. So good morning to you. Nice to see you. And, and let's talk about this, uh, this project. Uh, what, where did the sturgeon go? Were they here once before? Oh, yeah. Good morning, everyone, and uh, thank you for having me. Sturgeon, or specifically the Atlantic sturgeon, which is the biggest one, uh, they have been here for a long, long time, much longer than any of us have been around and uh, they have been spawning in the, uh, in the Connecticut River, the longest river here that we have in our state, of course. And uh, more than 100 years ago, humans managed to uh, basically end those, those uh, iconic uh, runs of the sturgeon. They will always have to go up the river to spawn. Mm -hmm. And uh, we did that because we overfished them and we uh, dammed the river and we obstructed the habitat. So for more than 100 years, we do not have any of these uh, iconic sturgeon runs, right. but there is now there is now some some cautious optimism that uh, the sturgeon may rediscover their right. own. But they're going to they're going to need your help to do it. We should point out uh, you're a professor, associate professor at UConn with fisheries at, and evolutionary ecology. So it sounds like doctor, you are the you're the man to bring the sturgeon back. <laughs> What's it going to take? Well, first of all, it's going to take, you know, all hands on deck. And uh, I would be remiss if I wouldn't point out that the effort to protect sturgeon and to learn more about them predates my involvement in that project. For uh, the most important players here are our uh, state agencies, particularly the Connecticut Department of uh, Energy and, um, and uh, Environmental Protection. Those guys have been for the last 40 years uh, monitoring sturgeon in the Connecticut River and have basically overseen that the, uh, they are protected, that people have a way to report any accidental catches or any accidental there mortality. You know, sure. Now, am I wrong to say, and, and forgive me, I know this is, this is your wheelhouse, not mine, but it's, it's not the, the prettiest fish. Are the, what, what are, what's forming the bumps in the bag? And, 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 and is this, can we bring it eventually to a level where we can't fish it for eating? So uh, obviously our, uh, you know, like sense of, of, of pretty in, in the environment, you know, like that's in the eye of the beholder. Of course, of course. Uh, of course uh, <laughs> I, find, I find these fish absolutely fascinating. Maybe they're not winning the pretty prize, but <laughs> think of them, think of them as dinosaurs of the ocean, because that's exactly how long that's they have been around. These guys shared the waters with all these fascinating things that you only know from the Peabody Museum and as uh -huh. bone. Sturgeon were around then. Sturgeon are a part of the fish evolution that is basically very, very ancient. So Any other fish that you have is, is more derived. Those guys were around for a long time. Right. So, and, so uh, hopefully the humans will so, be. Okay, so we are running out of time, but sure. so millions of years they've been here with the dinosaurs. The last hundred years they haven't. You want to bring them back. Uh, you've got an event coming up at Hammonasset Beach in Madison. Talk about that for a quick second. So what we've done, we have done, you know, like some pretty good research, fundamental research, and we want to tell the public about it uh, this Saturday at Hammonasset uh, State Park, where Makes Point is at the beach house. We put a basically a public outreach, a, a sign that informs the, the public about that there are sturgeon like this in our waters and that we need to protect them. And we unveil that sign. We basically like have a bunch of us all being there. We are giving a few not too long speeches, I promise. And uh, we just yeah. unveil, we unveil that sign and uh, mm -hmm. we basically tell the people to check it out. Very good. Justin Timberlake brought sexy back. Dr. Hannes Bauman's gonna bring sturgeon back. We wish you the best of luck. There. Thank, <laughs> Thank you very Thank much. Thank you for joining us.